today I want to talk about a new feature that's just come to Alarma, which is structured outputs. Now this is where you're able to restrict uh, the output that comes back from Alarma to a specific format defined by a JSON schema, and that means that you're able to get structured output from it. And this is something that's existed for a while in, uh, say, providers like OpenAI, also existed in Together as well. Um, but now we can do it with open models on our own machine. Let me show you how. So this is an example of how we would do things previously. This is just using JSON format from Alama. Uh, if we run that, it's just going to produce a list of five cities from around the world. And we're just saying that we want it in JSON format. Now, what we get back is kind of anyone's guess. So we've got a form, we've got some data back, but you can see that we haven't got it in a format that we defined is just what the model has decided is a good format. So if we run it again, it's possible that it might be different. You can see now we've got a bunch of list of cities that's completely different to what we had before. So what we can now do is actually just use the Alarma library, or in fact, we can call it from a curl on the command line. Let's do that first. Um, so we're just calling the URL that we had before. And I'm going to clear that down. And this is, um, tell me some details about Wales, uh, as in Wales, the country that I live in. Um, and we are asking for capital and some languages that are spoken there. So if we were to run that, uh, Llama only, and I think we can pipe the output into JQ to make it look a little bit better as well. And we can see that the capital is Cardiff and the languages that are spoke here is Welsh and the name is Wales, which is great. That's kind of what we want. We've got it in a structured format that we have defined um, and that's really useful. So a cool thing about that is that we also get a library available in Python. So we get the Alarma library and we can just use that straight off the bat. Um, here I've got a slightly more complex structure, so we've got a city, uh, a list of cities. These are just Pydantic models. We pass that into Llama 3.2 here and ask for a response. So if I go off and run that, and you can see that we've got a list of cities as Pydantic models. You can see that the way we're passing it in here is slightly different to how we might do it with, say, OpenAI. Uh, where we just pass the model itself rather than having to spit out the schema, but still we've got it just in Alarma, which is quite nice. Because we are just able to query it from um, the Alarma server, basically, we also get it available in JavaScript as well. So there's clients available for both uh, languages, so by Python and JavaScript. So we can just do the same query that we've got, so city, cities, list five cities from around the world. We're doing it with Zod schema this time. Um, and if we do that in JavaScript, we get pretty much the same thing back, albeit printed out slightly differently, not as Pydantic models. Now the E or I's amongst you might be saying, oh, hang on Ian, you've spoken about this before. You've spoken about how we are able to get structured output through using Instructor. That's true, but now, so previously that might have looked like something like this, so if we get rid of that, um, where we're piping through Instructor, we're able to use OpenAI, wrap up everything. This is slightly simpler. Hopefully you can see from uh, the Alama only script here versus the Instructor script. Um, what sort of difference we're dealing with there? So obviously it's a lot more concise and um, we're not having to use the OpenAI client, which is slightly confusing if you're talking to a Llama, say. The other thing to point out is this is not limited to just text input. You can use it with images as well, so vision models. Uh, and Llama have got a good example of that on their blog post about this, so go and try that out as well. So yeah, really nice new feature from Llama. Now we're able to query any open model that we have on our machine uh, using structured outputs. And yeah, this is really awesome. We'll be able to use it for multitudes of different things. Go off and try it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, and I'll speak to you soon. New video. All right, bye for now. Bye.